Tuesday, April 26th. I'm Natalie Morris and it's time to get loaded. Facebook has started rolling out Facebook Deals, their Groupon competitor. It offers local deals that you can share with your Facebook friends. It launches today in Austin, Atlanta, Dallas, San Diego, and San Francisco. Facebook also launched something called the Send button, which is like the Like button, but not so public. You will soon start to see these littered all over the web. When you push it, you can share an article, photo, or page with a select few friends on Facebook rather than your entire feed, so now you don't have to be quite so embarrassed to like the things you like. Sony announced a new lineup of Android tablets today. They run the tablet-specific honeycomb version of Android, and they are called the Sony tablets. The S1 is the 9-inch version. The S2 has two 5-inch displays that fold together like a book. Both can link to the Sony Reader Store and Android PlayStation content, which is very cool. They come out in the fall. Yahoo has purchased Into Now, a TV check-in service. It's kind of like Foursquare for TV watching. You tell your friends and family what you are watching and share it through the app. The app scans the airwaves from the television and knows what you're watching, which is kind of cool. It can share this with your Facebook and Twitter friends. And it's no iPad, but the Barnes & Noble Nook is now more of a tablet than an e-reader because it can run apps. This is called Nook Apps, and there are apps for email, calendar, contacts, and more. It can also run Adobe Flash and Adobe Air. The Color Nook runs Android, but it can't run all Android Marketplace apps. There are specific apps designed for the Nook, and right now there are about 125 of them. Last week, we reported on a T-Mobile app called Bobsled that lets you make calls to your Facebook friends in Facebook chat on your mobile device. Well, that doesn't work anymore. T-Mobile shut it down because users were confusing it with the real Facebook chat and Facebook complained. T-Mobile said it would redesign the app so users aren't so confused. That's your news of the day. I will see you tomorrow. I'm Natalie Morris with CNET, and you've just been loaded.